Honestly, the bottle, this bottle is insane. It is so tactile, so weighty, and has the really signature Valentino rock stud print. So I'm Renee, I'm a copywriter here at Essential, and I've been reviewing the Born in Roma Donna perfume for a little while now. It launched this year, so it's brand new. And honestly, this is a beautiful, soft, feminine, and floral fragrance. So to me, this fragrance smells like black currant. It's literally like when you'd come in from playing outside as a kid and you'd have Robertson squash but kind of the more grown-up version so it's not too sickly sweet or anything um, it also has vanilla bourbon in it so it's got that really musky nice grown-up adult feel so obviously that's just how it smells to me, but for a little bit more of a clear breakdown, here are the key notes. The top notes, we've got blackcurrant, bergamot, and vanilla. For the middle notes, we've got a trio of jasmine. And for the base notes, we've got a spicy benzoin resin. For me, the mood that this creates is quite rich and opulent while still having that musky kind of smoky undertones. At first spritz, it is quite fruity and floral, but as you let it linger on the skin, it definitely gives you a bit more of a wildness. So I have touched a little bit on the bottle already, but what I haven't looked at is the really beautiful studded collar that you can see around the neck. It's got kind of spikes on it, so it's still got that rock star kind of punky look. But then what I really love is that it's contrasted with the pink that you can see through the packaging. So you have those masculine and feminine elements that encourage you just to kind of ditch the labels. So for me, I would say this lasted about four to five hours, which is pretty typical of an eau de parfum. So it's probably quite a good scent to go for if you're looking for something with that longevity. So like the rest of the Border in Roma collection, this is based on, as you would have guessed it, the streets of Rome. As someone with a really rich culture and someone that has a lot of beautiful architecture, a lot of couture fashion, and even art and food, this fragrance really pays homage to that history. It also focuses on kind of the new modern Italy that we see emerging and something they've called the Aristo Punk culture. So this Aristo Punk attitude is all about being cool, diverse, different, and is something that Valentino have coined as being started here in the underbelly of Rome. So if you're someone who's really into Valentino fashion, or even if this is just your first plunge into the whole couture world, this is perfect for you. It has the rock stud exterior, which is really similar to the boots that first debuted at the 2011 fashion show. Now we've seen them in pumps, kitten heels, stilettos, you name it, they are everywhere. Whilst I personally cannot afford a pair of them, this is like having a tiny piece of Valentino history with me in a perfume bottle.